Hey, I have a couple external hard drives here that are filled to their limits. I can't get any more videos on them. That's why I bought myself this two terabyte external hard drive by Seagate. I'm gonna open it up, format it for my MacBook Pro, and then move a lot of the files from that onto this. Let's send this over to my coffee table, get it open, check it out, and I'll show you how to do all that. So this is actually my first time getting an external hard drive by Seagate, so I'm pretty excited to get it open and check it out and see how well it works. Nice visual appeal right when we open the box. We got a little pamphlet here that lets us know that we have rescue data recovery services included with this external hard drive. And we also get ourselves a little quick start guide here. But here's the remaining packaging for the Seagate external hard drive. You can see it's super easy to open up. It comes with the hard drive itself as well as the connecting cable here. You have one end that will plug into the hard drive and another that will plug into a USB 3.0. Now, unfortunately, this won't plug into my MacBook Pro because it doesn't have a port for this right here. But thankfully, I already have an adapter for that, so I'm just going to be using this one and seeing if that works. This is an adapter by Cable Creations and has worked for my other external hard drives. Hopefully, it does the same thing with the Seagate model here. The first impressions of the Seagate hard drive here are that it it's much heavier than what I expected. I was expecting something a little more lightweight, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because the heaviness might add to its durability. It's got a tough exterior plastic here, totally flat on top, but with a rounded back right here and the port for the cable. Let's make sure that it fits my Cable Creations adapter here. Let's go ahead and plug that in. And yes, it fits on that end, so let's make sure that it actually has transferability over to my MacBook Pro. Let's get it over to my computer desk and check it out. So I'm at my desk here and I've got the Seagate external hard drive. I'm gonna plug it into my MacBook Pro and I'm gonna share with you a screenshot of what I'm actually seeing. That way you can just follow along as I talk to the camera. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in, see if my MacBook Pro even reads it. If it does, it will pop up over here somewhere. Let's give it a little time here. Give it a few seconds. Let's see, oh, and there you go. So it is reading something right there. There you go, it's got it. It's definitely reading it. Let's see if it's formatted. We're gonna to try to transfer over uh, my other Amazon videos and uh, nope, it doesn't wanna transfer over. That means that we're gonna to have to format this external hard drive in order to work with the MacBook Pro to accept my data. So in order to use my Seagate external hard drive with my MacBook Pro here, I'm going to need a Paragon driver. That's why I'm going to come up here to seagate.com slash support slash software slash Paragon. I'm going to scroll down until I find the downloads. And then I'm going to have to find which Mac OS the Paragon driver is compatible with here. So I go up to my Apple, I click on about this Mac, and then I look right here and I have Mac OS Monterey. Now Mac OS Monterey is the successor to Mac OS Big Sur. So I'm going to find the driver for that one specifically. I come down here to the Paragon driver for Mac OS Big Sur and later. Now in order to actually use this here, I'm gonna have to go in and change some security settings. So let me show you how to do that. Now first, we just have to shut down our MacBook. So now our next step is to press and hold the power button until we see the loading startup options. Press and hold. You'll see it says continue holding for startup options. Loading startup options. Now we click options over here and then we click continue down here. Select your user, click next, and now you enter your password. Once you have your password entered, you come up to utilities and you select startup security utility. You select your startup disk and you may need to unlock it. To do that, you just enter your password again. There, mine is unlocked and now down here you'll see security policy. Click on security policy. Switch from full security to reduced security. Then we'll want to select allow user management of kernel extensions from identified developers and click OK. Then enter your password. Now you'll see that it's applying the security policy. Let's let it do its thing. Now that the changes have been applied, we go up to the Apple icon and we select restart. Now that we're restarting, we can go back in and download the Paragon driver. Okay, once we've changed those security settings, now we can come back over here and we can download our Paragon driver. And you'll go into your downloads and click on the Paragon driver.dmg. Then we click on install NTFS for Mac. And if this pops up here, you simply click open. You accept the software license agreement and click next. Now you'll have to enter your password and install the helper. Let it do its thing. And then we have to come over here and provide consent. 
we may have to open our preferences here. Click the unlock button, enter our password or use our fingerprint, and click on allow. Type in your password. And now we'll actually have to restart our MacBook once more. Now that I've gone and restarted my computer, I got a little pop-up here that says NTFS for Mac would like to access files on a removable volume. Obviously, we select OK. Now if we open up our system preferences, we should be able to find the extension right here, NTFS for Mac. Now let's go check and see if we can actually deliver our Mac data onto our Seagate external hard drive. We have our full Amazon videos here, so I'm going to take them and try to move them down there. And there you go, see it turns blue, and I can move them on. Let's see how long this takes with 108 videos. You can see I've got 27 gigs here, and it says it's only going to take about three minutes. Wow, that's fast. All right, it happened in just a few minutes, much quicker than what I expected, and that's because it can transfer data at one gigabits per second. So let's go in and see if it actually got all the files over there properly. And here you go, all my files. Perfect, all backed up. Can't ask for anything more than that. So there you go, that's how you get the Seagate external hard drive to work with your MacBook Pro. It's working perfectly for me. It was super simple. Just make sure that you go and get a cable like this one. I got mine from Cable Creations. You're gonna need it to attach to some of these MacBook Pros because they only have a USB-C connection. So once you have that, you're ready to go. And I'm loving it already, highly recommended.